So I'm having a bit of fun at the moment trying out this attachment. This is how far I've got. Um, it's kind of a fun effect. It's it's very raised, so it's I'm getting the hang of it. It's not perfect, but certainly you know providing quite an, a, a really good effect. So I think you know it will look very good in the end, and we'll show you how this works. So I've got this on my Kenmore 158-1040. I tried it on my Brother Royal, but for some reason it wouldn't feed properly, so I need to investigate this. But on here it feeds perfectly, and I've actually put the tension down to, to basically as low as it goes. And that allows me to drag it sideways sometimes, which helps with awkward curves. Generally you want to go forward, but for instance here, Zoom in. Right here, these are just very small areas where it's really almost impossible to, to sew in a straight line. To, you know, so to drag it sideways makes it a little easier. But I shall show you on a long run now because they're a little more interesting to watch. Um, so I've got stabilizer on the back here which makes it a bit awkward. This is quite stiff, but that's okay. And then we'll adjust this a little bit so you can see. There you are. And then so it's a straight line from there. So I pull the threads down on the underside when I'm done, basically. I've got it set to Probably about a, maybe 16 stitches per inch or something quite small. I've got variegated thread, thicker than the standard thread, sort of a denim style thread. Now we spin, so you see it creates basically a, a type of chain on top, which gives it th that raised, really neat effect. So now we'll go down the other side and then I'll fit in the middle at the end. around again and now fill in the middle. <clears throat> so there's quite a, a big hole here so I might before I go all the way up to the other side I might just circle around in here to fill this bit in a bit.
And now we'll come up the middle of the stitches. This is where you need a lot of control on the machine, just to make sure your stitches are aimed right between the other stitches. Easy enough to do, so I tend to grab the hand wheel a bit to make sure it really goes slow during these awkward bits. It's a lot slower than, well, I mean, you can go faster, but it's not as easy to control as a cornly machine. However, it works very well. finished. locking stitches and then what happens is I pull these threads through to the back. So what's important is you always have to pull it away from the uh, pull it to the back of the machine so you can actually get it threads, cut them and then cut the bobbin thread. And then that leaves nice long chain, nice long threads which can be pulled through to the underside. So I shall continue working on this and just gradually fill in all the bits. And eventually I will show you the end result of the dragon. So that's the end result. Really close, you can see all the detail.